Hi, Timothy Unger here, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the srand function in C. So in the last video, we talked about the rand function and how it was sort of random. srand will get us a little bit closer. Uh, with the srand function, we're actually going to include another header, which is the uh, std lib.h, standard lib. Um, and we're going to create an unsigned integer, which is the seed for our random numbers. Uh, so I'm going to create that. And I'm also going to create an integer i and another integer random num. OK, and the i I'm going to use for a for loop later on. I'm going to print f and say, enter the seed for your numbers. OK, and then I'm going to scan f. And we're going to take in, uh, this time, percentage u, because it's an unsigned integer. And we're going to have our ampersand and then seed, because we're uh, taking in the number for our seed. And then I'm going to run the srand function with the seed. Okay. Now I'm going to create my for loop. So I'm going to say for i equals zero. Let's do 10 numbers. So we'll say i is less than 10. And we'll increment i by one each time as we move through the loop. Okay. I'm going to say random num equals this rand function that we used in our previous video. Uh, modulo 25 plus 1, that's going to give us numbers 1 through 25 for our random numbers, as we discussed in the previous video. And then I'm going to print f, uh, and we're going to use percentage d because we're printing an integer. Let's leave a space, and then we'll pass in the random number. Okay. We'll go outside of the for loop, and we'll just print f a new line character and then return zero at the end of the function. And now let's run it. Well, let's compile and run it. So I'm gonna compile srand, we'll output srand. Okay, and then we'll run it. It says enter a seed for your numbers, let's do three. And we get those numbers. Now, if we enter a different seed, let's say four, we get different numbers. Let's enter a different seed, let's say two, we get still different numbers. But let's say we go back and we enter three again. Well, you'll see that we get the same numbers that we got when we entered this other seed three. All right, let's try it again. And we get the same numbers again. So it's really not random yet, but we're getting closer. Uh, we'll get there in the next video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. I'd also like to thank you for watching this video, and I wish you have a great day. See you in the next one.